Good morning. Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You're knowing what you're wanting, why you're here. You like taking thought beyond what it has been before. Do you understand that you are a vibrational being first and foremost? And that you are offering a vibration all the time. And that the vibration that you're offering is sort of where you're at, what life has brought you to. It's often based upon what you've been thinking about. It's about what you've just been thinking about. It's what you are thinking about. But what you are thinking about is usually sort of like what you have been thinking about because you usually don't move much from what you have been thinking about to what you are thinking about, but you could. What you are thinking about, which is a lot like what you have been thinking about is largely about what you're observing. So what you're observing and what you have been observing and what you have been thinking about and what you are thinking about keeps bringing more to observe that's just like that. So most things don't change very much for most people, even from decade to decade, because you have these habits of approaching life that are mostly based upon observation. And so it's a cycle that you continue to repeat, but it is not a cycle that needs to be repeated. As you are observing your life experience, you are continually without knowing it usually giving birth to preferences of improvement it really is the basis of all evolution so as you are emitting this vibrational awareness of what would be better for you from your vantage point that vibration matters a lot it becomes a part of a vibrational reality that is the basis of future realities of future generations but it could be the basis of your future and not so far distant reality but it's slow going for most of you because your awareness of what is is dominant hold that word dominant in your mind for just a little bit we want to revisit as we move through this day together because there are many things that you think about and sometimes you feel good when you think about some of these things and sometimes you don't feel so good when you think about these things but in every case on every subject you do have a dominant vibration and let's call that dominant vibration your belief your belief is a thought that you continue to think and the reason that you continue to think the thought is because it's dominant so it's easiest to find it's dominant so it has the most momentum but it doesn't have to be dominant and it doesn't have to have the most momentum because you could make a thought of your choice dominant just by making a thought of your choice dominant you could say this thought is more important to me than that thought prosperity is more important to me than poverty even if poverty is dominant in your current experience you could make prosperity dominant in your vibration if you'd stop observing if there's somebody in your life that is giving you constant grief and you're observing them how you feel about them is dominantly negative but you could feel dominantly positive about them if you would stop letting what you observe be the basis of your vibration about them you're sort of getting the hang of what we're talking about here we're talking about the difference between being a deliberate creator one who chooses the dominant thought and practices it until it is easily dominant or one who just stumbles around we love you so much and focuses by default 
on whatever's loudest or most present and you know what's so tricky about that what is most present in your experience is what's dominant in your vibration but you could change what's dominant in your vibration you could have 10 major aspects of your current life one of them could be pretty good and nine of them could be far from good and if you would focus upon the one that you like you could make it so dominant the other nine would have to become the same we love you so much but you are lazy <laughs> you don't do that you don't choose often what you mean to be dominant you don't choose the direction of your thought or the vibrational content of your thought because along your way you have come to believe that what is is dominant but it isn't vibration is dominant so you could choose from what is whatever aspect of it you want the other day Esther was enjoying cleaning up some resistance in her own experience on a specific topic and she was using a process that we've been teaching for quite a long while called a focus wheel and the focus wheel is used to increase momentum it is used to pick a topic that you would like to make dominant and increase the vibration of it which is what makes it dominant so the focus wheel works like this you're observing life something that you observe could be improved and you recognize it so you sit with the intention of improving your vibration on a subject so you start with where you are such and such sucks <laughs> and then as always when you know what you don't want for just a flash you know what you do want so on the other end of that stick is a clearer than usual picture of what you do want I know I don't want this I would prefer this so in the center of a page Esther always draws a big circle and she writes a positive statement that right now is not dominant within her at all in fact the opposite of it is dominant within her that's why she's doing this it's something that she intends to make more dominant because she is going to focus on it for a little while and allow it to become more dominant you following so she writes this in the center and then she tries to think of things that are easy to think of the support center circle of intention and it's pretty easy first one comes sort of hard but then she gets rolling and she'll write the first and the second and the third and the fourth and the fifth and the sixth and sometimes she'll just fill a whole page in all around sometimes you can hardly see anything left on the pages just writing everywhere sometimes the momentum becomes so fast that she finds what she has written in the center to be dominant in this moment she changed what was dominant to something else we call that deliberate creating it's fun to clean up vibration however cleaning up vibration just the idea of cleaning up a vibration has resistance in it because there's something to clean up and when you focus too long or too hard on what you're cleaning up you make it dominant you can do so many focus wheels on something that bothers you that you can make that thing that bothers you dominant you get in the sense of what we're talking about we love you so much that's what humans do you try so hard to get it right you want so much to be good at what you do that you are so often in your quest for rightness or goodness or improvement actually activating the other end of the stick without even knowing you're doing it well that's what Esther was doing she was working so hard on cleaning up a vibration that she had been aware of that keeps 
rearing its ugly head that while she was going through the motions and actually slightly improving the way she feels overall too much focus wheeling on the same subject over and over again was making what she didn't want dominant can you follow this a little bit and can you put it in the category of trying too hard so something very wonderful happened to Esther during this process right in the middle of the process she grew weary of the subject <laughs> sort of like sitting and looking through the catalog too long Has that ever happened to you seemed like a good idea oh I'd like that and I'd like that and I'd like that but after about 25 catalogs you just want to vomit <laughs> too much you know what we're talking about too much too much on a topic without really improving anything maybe too much yearning so she reached that place which for ease of conversation a really good description she reached a place without in that moment being able to consciously identify it of just giving up it was like enough already enough already I've said what I want I want what I've said I'm Popeye the sailor man <laughs> something like that and in the process of that she doesn't even know how she did it so we can't even really teach it to you we're just telling you it's possible I will show you how Esther fast forwarded into an uncluttered space of pure desire and the thought that came to her mind was if I could have this any way I wanted if I were starting all over with this if I were starting completely over with this what would I choose and right behind that came the thought since I'm starting over right now because every moment you're starting over in every moment you're starting over on what you make dominant since I'm starting over right now what do I choose what do I choose since I'm starting over it was like she rocketed through a portal where no resistance went with her she was free of the focus wheel free of trying to clean stuff up she went into a sort of dream state a sort of state of since I get to choose whatever I want what do I choose she was free of now reality and just in a dream state of what would I choose about this well I would choose this and I would choose this and I would choose this and I would choose this she was breathless and the reason that we're telling this to you is because it was so obvious to Esther the difference between trying to clean up a vibration and just starting fresh on a subject where there's nothing to clean up and allowing yourself to go right to where you want to be so we want to talk to you about vibration and momentum and about where you stand and about how through life you have sent all of these vibrational rockets forward which have become the vibrational version of who you are and the vibrational version of who you are it's such a real thing we called it vibrational reality for a while we gave it a name the vortex wrote two books about it because we want you to feel the bigness and the realness and the wholeness of it but most of all today we want you to feel the resistance freeness of it we want you to feel the sweetness of it the niceness of it the love of it the bigness of it and most of all the power of it because there's no resistance in it there's resistance when you try to get to it but when you just know that it exists and don't try to justify going to it it will call you to it when you are least expecting it we want you to give up the struggle of improving yourself and accept the perfection of who you are 